I've been fighting a mole problem. It's pretty fierce. They're everywhere. Making mounds. Anyway, I'm trying to trap them. I haven't been doing too good job of that, but got one uh, with the 17 today. That works too. So one down, a whole bunch to go. So I uh, just want to show something. This is a first for me. Um, for a couple reasons, but this is the first thing I've ever caught actually in a conner bear. Um, it was a gopher, so kind of a, not exactly a, a high-end pelt value there, but um, I finally got one. This guy's been destroying my yard, and I've never got caught anything in a conibear. So it's, uh, I guess, kind of a limping into the trapping season, but hey, uh, I'll take it. Still fighting the uh, destruction of my yard, but got uh, another uh, kind of rare catch. So maybe figure this out before trap season. This is a uh, these big digging squirrels. See the kind of hole they come in out of. If we can get down there and show that, but uh, they absolutely can destroy your yard. They actually had one of our um, paper patios collapse because one of these guys dug a hole underneath it. So. I went out actually and trying to shoot a couple tonight, and they're just they're pretty wary, so I didn't get a shot on them. I got back, but there was one that came through the trap, so that worked out pretty good. Um, hopefully, we'll catch a few more because, like I said, they're they can make a mess of things in a hurry. So I'm out. Little boys with me today. Uh, catching them. We're trying to catch digging squirrels. Uh, not the ones we shoot with the 17s. These are bigger, about as big as a gray squirrel. And uh, I'm gonna use my mink boxes. It's got some uh, some bait there, which I'm gonna. It's a mix of some stale nuts and sheep feed and some other stuff. Anyway, uh, they're absolutely tearing my yard apart. But I can catch them there. But it, there's so many of them up in this clear cut, which is right behind my house here. And I'm gonna move my line out of here a little bit farther and see if I can thin the population down. So anyway, we're getting a bunch of these set today, and we'll see how we do. Okay, so it's actually just a couple hours later. I came back up uh, with some batteries for my trail camera because they were dead, and uh, we uh, got one already. Let's get out of here. Show you how big these things are. That is a big squirrel. This is a hole they're coming in and out of. Anyway, these things get into my yard and under my shop and everything, which is right there. Uh, so, anyway, that's kind of cool. Uh, that, that's a big one. So we'll uh, get this out of here. We'll go in the freezer for bait. But, anyway, that's not bad for an hour and a half. I'm running up the hill again here to check, uh, I guess, my squirrel line. But uh, my last video, I missed some shout-outs. So I'll give a few more. These so I can remember. I'll probably keep missing them. But um, here goes. So, uh... Uh, we'll start with Muskrat 411, obviously a real good guy up there north, enjoy his stuff quite a bit. Uh, Swamp Don Donkey 530, also got a good channel, good guy. Um, White Court Wolverine, um, pretty recent channel that I just uh, found, pretty cool. And then two new ones that I have found just in the last week or two. Uh, Coon Creek Outdoors I think is what it is. And the woodland trapper. So, anyway, that's what else I can remember for today. But I'm gonna go check these guys and see if we caught anything. So, got into one of the, these digging squirrels today. Uh, I actually got one yesterday too, but I forgot to uh, bring my camera. But anyway, uh, another look at them. Pretty big squirrel. I'm just keeping them for for bait for next year, but. No, they actually don't have too bad looking fur on them, but anyway, that's another one down. Um, I'm gonna check the rest of them here in a second. Okay, got another one uh, out of this box. I think this is number nine or ten. But look how big those guys are. They're huge. Um, that's an exceptionally big one. But anyway, there's he's got two of these little boxes that are they're that far apart. Um, that one's still set, but uh, starting to thin them out a little bit. Um, hopefully, we'll catch a few more. I realize 
I don't know if you can see this, but this whole uh, road's covered with blackberries along the edge, which we actually pruned back and picked for making jam and all kinds of stuff, but they, uh, apparently these things eat blackberries, along with other things, but they're just stripping the berries uh, before they're ripe, so one more reason to get rid of them. Looks like we've got another one in the box back there. Alright. There it be. The kind of good thing actually about doing this this summer is I've noticed that some of my boxes I built for, actually for my t ray they're going to be for mink, aren't firing right. Like that one, something set it off, but it didn't come all the way down. Because um, the side where it holds obviously isn't big enough. So it's giving me a chance to kind of tweak and tune them up on these guys. So hopefully this fall and winter, uh, when I've got them out for, for other stuff, they'll actually... Uh, not any misses on them. So, anyway, another one. Alright, so here's another one. So I must have got these boxes all tuned up pretty good because everyone's fired off. There's a squirrel in it. Um, this one's not a real good catch, but uh, obviously the double springs must have, must have done the job anyway. But, anyway, one more. Okay, and another one. So uh, that's probably going to be the it for this. And there's only so many squirrels you can watch a grown man catch. But uh, anyway, it's been kind of cool to uh, uh, get my boxes all set and uh, put a very good herd on these guys too. Hopefully they'll work well for bait because i got a whole freezer full of them. Uh, we're well into the teens now and uh, thinning them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.